Forgive me, but my schedule has changed. The time for grace and good manners has now run out. Please. Torture will not work on me. Surely you know this. Oh, I have no intention of getting rough with you. You haven't been beaten. Your hands aren't even tied. Just like me, you live in symbiosis with countless parasites. What wounds I might inflict, they'll patch right up. You might feel considerable pain, but I've no doubt you can withstand it. Then what do you plan on doing? I have a soldier standing outside. Nothing special about him, except that he always obeys. I have given him one instruction. Whenever I ring this bell, he passes on a message for me. That message is simply, go. What is this? After that, though, it gets complicated. The message will arrive at a room, a little bigger than this one, nothing special. Some of your people are in this room, surrounded by my men. Enough of this. They pick them at random. No regard for age, gender. In that, I suppose, they're different from you. Not as discriminating. They tied them up, one by one, blindfolded them. We had to maintain order, you understand? You bastard. Go. When they hear that, my men will pick one of your people and infect them with a parasite. Your parasite. It won't work on my people. True. The vocal cord parasite doesn't respond to your language. But what about English? An English strain. It exists. A ring of this bell, and they infect one person. If that person abandons the Navajo language, the English strain will trigger symptoms. You monster! So, it's quite simple. Every time I ring the bell, another of your people is infected. Don't do this! I don't want to do this. I'd rather not have to ring the bell. Which is why I'm hoping you will talk to me. What do you want? What else could you possibly want? You know the answer to that. How to prevent the symptoms caused by the parasite. You cannot control it like some slave. Forget the idea. Forget it? Unlikely. I will never tell you. What have you done? You made me do that. You black-hearted... Settle down. Don't use it again. Well, that is up to you. All you need to do is tell me what I want. How to prevent the vocal cord parasite symptoms. Why? Why do you need to know? The adult soldiers at Bwale Amasa are all dead. What? The parasite traveled downstream. How? It would appear that he was involved. Another demon who woke up from nine years of slumber. As a result, the vocal cord parasite spread through the village. I told you this would happen. It was an unfortunate accident. He is becoming an annoyance. He may stumble upon the truth sooner or later, but I suppose that is really of no consequence. One day, he too will pay for what he has done. Black Anna. The real demon is you. You know, this incident made me realize something. You are right. I should have acted with more humility. These creatures cannot be controlled. All the more reason I require a means to stop them. There is no such way. Oh, really? Wait! Don't ring it again. It is up to you. <sighs> Out with it! I see now. There must be more to it than that. What? They are in you. You use this land to breed more of my children. And not just here. No. 
in pursuit of your ethnic cleansers. You sifted through many language strains, finding hosts, breeding more and more. You would have been infected in the process, infected with countless strains. <sighs> Most likely your mother tongues as well. Romania, Northern Transylvania. You found that one too. Yes, the Hungarian strain that responds to the CK's dialect. Silence! Black Anna. It is you who shall pay. Is this your retaliation, old man? Let my people go and never bother them again. You heard me. What now? are you doing? <laughs> I am not afraid. I probably have every language strain inside of me. Meaning all the world's languages are already lost to me. But that suits me fine. If need be, I myself can produce whatever strain is needed. And that means nothing to you. If you are infected, you can never again speak your mother tongue. Otherwise, you will die. As will every one of your countrymen. A few words here and there won't trigger the symptoms. And besides, the time is not yet right to show this face in my homeland. Not until my revenge is complete. Now... Stop! We're out of time. I have to get going. <sighs> well... No! Uh... Radiation. It's radiation. Radiation? Of course. So it can be used. But how much? I do not know. Radiation denatures their reproductive cells, preventing them from mating. Same principle as the sterilization technique. The reproductive cells are more sensitive to radiation than the rest of the body. But I have not tested it. There is no telling what mutation could result, or how the host may be affected. Not to mention what could happen if this is done post-infection. I don't care. This plan goes into action now. As long as it works, the details can wait. You wouldn't be lying to me, of course, old man. I can guarantee nothing. I owe you my life. My body has been burned on countless occasions, but it survives thanks to your children. That is why I trust you. Then do not repeat my mistake. What's that? In the West, it is said that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. In the East, it is said the man of flesh brings spiritual power to words. The people knew back then that these creatures carry the Gospel. They do not belong in our hands. They must not be touched. <laughs> How enlightening. I'll remember that. Consider this my thanks. What are you catch? <laughs> no! <laughs> well then. I'm afraid it really is goodbye this time, Code Talker.
There is no soldier. Huh. Now where did he run off to? Uh huh? Guess he wasn't as obedient as I thought. There never was any soldier. So long. You! How dare you!